I walk through enclosure here, Madagascar, is a very much immersive exhibit, so the visitors can walk through. The lemurs have free reign in here. Um, it's only the visitors that are restrained to the pathway. It's very popular. We have four different lemurs that share the main walkthrough. We have red-bellied lemurs, ring-tailed lemurs, black lemurs and collared lemurs. And the shafaka, which are in a separate enclosure. Eventually we do hope to mix these in with the rest of the animals, but they're in a, a separate enclosure for the time being. There's a surplus of males in captivity and very few females. So we're attempting here to actually mix male shafaka together, which doesn't normally work because they're quite territorial and can be quite aggressive. They do wrestle from time to time. You see them rolling around on the floor or up in the branches, and it really is just play fighting. There's no aggression between them at all. They actually seem to get on really well. But they're still young for a shafaka, certainly. They're both three or four years old. In the wild, they probably wouldn't live much past 10 or 11 or so. And in captivity, because they're looked after and they get medical care and that kind of thing, they can live well into their late 20s, maybe even into 30 if he's lucky and healthy. Red-bellied lemurs live in a family group, so we have the adult male and female, which we call mum and dad, their younger son, and then this baby, which is also a male. For some reason, our female seems to give birth to males rather than females. It was born in April, doing really well. The babies do develop differently to other lemurs, and she carries it around a lot more. She only tucks it into her thigh, but it is getting to the age now where it's learned that it's got back legs and it knows how to use them, so it jumps around between the trees, and it's just learning to be a lemur, really. Once a pair get together, they normally do well and breed every year. In our ringtail group, we actually have nine plus a baby. They had a bit of an argument a couple of days ago, uh, which happens in lemur groups. Uh, they're quite complex social groups, and one of them got picked on a little bit. She's been seen by the vet, she's absolutely fine. But they're actually shutting at the moment just so they can bond together again, so tomorrow morning they'll all be a happy family again. When the weather's nice, the lemurs are allowed access outside overnight. The only times we actually bring them inside are for their main feeds. They get two main feeds a day. So we bring them inside so we can feed them, we can check them for any wounds or any injuries, check babies that have been born. And then when it's a nice day, they go straight back out again and they can spend the whole night outside. In the winter, we do have to lock them in in the evening because lemurs aren't the most intelligent of primates. And they'll sit in a tree if it's freezing cold, try and cuddle up and keep warm and end up getting frostbite in their tail. Lemurs are very popular animals. People are very attached to lemurs and they want to treat them like babies and cuddle them. They've got long fur and they're quite cute looking, but they have got big teeth. They just get on with their day and they ignore people as much as they can. The only time it's a bit different is when visitors smuggle bananas or anything into the enclosure and they can get a bit excited then. So we need to keep an eye on the visitors and keep an eye on the lemurs, but they're really relaxed and as long as they've got sunlight and something to eat at the end of the day, they're more than happy in here.